this tutorial will guide many dev users to perform two sample t test and i will be explaining in this video three different type of data entries into many tab the first one is both samples in one column then secondly summary statistics so the third method is each sample is in its own column furthermore this tutorial will also enable you to apply the t test for scenarios that is in case of independent samples and in case of paired observations so where we call paired observations also dependent samples so even if the samples are independent there are two different scenarios inside that we will see the t test for equal and unequal population variances so stay with us in this video we will explore the two sample t test with all possibilities first of all the two different types of samples the independent and dependent okay independent samples are also known as unrelated groups when two groups are unrelated for example you want to compare two teaching methods method 1 and method 2 on two different group of students uh, your sample will contain students from both sections like uh, the like from section a and section b so one sample will be from section a and the other from section b so students in both these sections will not be same so this is considered as independent samples whereas uh, in case of dependent samples they are related groups for example you want to compare the cholesterol level of same patients uh, over the period of two different times so you will get two different values a pair of values for the same patient this is dependent sample so we will have to deal in dependent and dependent samples differently the response variable should be approximately normal we have these three different rules and formulas to compute the calculated value of t uh, you should know these formulas because uh, on the back end of mini tab these are on the rules which are being used to evaluate your data first example a nutritionist wish to compare the average fat consumption of males and females so the variable of interest here is fat consumption uh, which we want to test across two groups males and females per day she studied a random sample of 12 females and 16 males so this is the data you can see also here the fat consumed the variable of interest and two groups sex male and female so we are concerned here to test whether the average fat consumption for male is equal to the average fat consumption of female that is mu average fat consumption in the population for male is equal to the average consumption of fat for female so this hypothesis this null hypothesis will test whether the fat consumption for male and female is equal no doubt if it is a two tail test our alternative hypothesis will be mu for male is not equal to mu for female so this is the hypothesis which we are going to test we may also see this data in some different form like this and the data for females and males have been arranged in different columns third form we may see the data in this form like this is the descriptive statistics taken from the same data since there were 12 females and 16 males this is the average fat consumed by female and average fat consumed by male and their variances so we may have data in three different forms so let us just go and see how can we use mini tab in all these three scenarios so here is the mini tab you can see the data in the first two columns that is fat consumed and the sex of the individuals if i just scroll it down you will see that there are 28 observations in total for males and females uh, for the descriptive statistics we may go to the stat basic statistics and descriptive statistics we need uh, for example descriptive statistics for fat consumed and we wanted to look at by both groups that is males and females inside the descriptive we need mean Uh, or we may even see standard error for mean standard deviation and uh, okay so here we go with the descriptive statistics there are 12 females 16 males no missing observation 
this is the mean for both groups and the standard error for mean and the standard deviation so now we want to apply t test we will go to stat basic statistics and here we go for the two sample t test two sample t by clicking this so in the first drop down menu we can see three different options both samples are in one column each sample is in its own column and then the summarized data so let us just go and see that uh, first option both samples are in one column okay we will select the samples that consumed and then the sample id is that is sex and inside the options we may specify our alpha since our alpha is 5% so confidence level will be 95% hypothesis difference mean that we are just interested to see the average consumption of fat for males minus average consumption of fat for female is equal to zero so this will be zero here and here in the bottom you have uh, an option of assume equal variance just remember that uh, we have talked about two different uh, tests for equal variances for populations or not equal variances for population okay here uh, at the bottom you have an option of uh, checking here assume equal variances if your population variances are equal then you will click here otherwise you will not we have a separate test for that we can i will just show you later that we can uh, before applying the state test we may test that so for the time being i just click here assume equal variances and click okay we click okay again let us just maximize the results okay mu1 is mean of fat consumed when sex is equal to female so it has taken the first group as female and the second group as male mini tab automatically goes for making groups alphabetically A female f comes first so therefore first group is for female and uh, the second group is for male so some of the descriptive statistics and after the descriptive statistics let us just go to the test this is what we want to test mu1 minus mu2 is equal to 0 and the alternate hypothesis that is mu1 minus mu2 is not equal to 0 this t value or based on this t value we will decide whether we are going to reject the null hypothesis or not the t value is minus 1.96 the degrees of freedom well in this case since we are using the pooled variance test here so 26 uh, the p value is uh, 0.06 so we always compare p values with alpha in this case our p value 0.06 which is slightly greater than our alpha that is 0.05 so we only reject our null hypothesis if the p values are less than alpha in this case the p value is slightly greater than alpha so we are unable to reject the null hypothesis and we will conclude that the average fat consumption by females and male is not significantly different at 5% level of significance so let us just go and see the second test that is stat basic statistics and uh, two sample t test everything is same here in options you check it out assume equal variance this will perform t prime test for you okay click okay the grouping is same the descriptive statistics is almost same it has not computed a the pooled variance now whereas in the previous output you can compare here it has computed the pooled standard deviation right pooled standard deviation but in this case it has not computed any pooled standard deviation because you have taken an option of not equal population variances so here we go the t value is minus 2.16 here our p value is 0.04 0.04 is less than alpha so if our p value is less than alpha we are going to reject the null hypothesis it means your results are significant so the data is providing sufficient evidence to conclude that the average consumption of fat for female is significantly different than the average consumption of fat for males okay let us just check uh, that uh, which test was right because we haven't test about the population variances yet so go to stat basic stat here is the two variance test click here 
both samples are in one column yes samples the fat consumed sample id is six so we want to compare the variances across two groups in options well everything is fine here alpha is five percent hypothesis ratio because it will take the ratio of the variances and uh, use test and confidence intervals based on normal distribution click ok inside the graph we don't need any graph for this we just want to test whether the variances are equal and click ok let us just go to the results see here the first group is for female second is for male this is the summary of the standard deviation and variances here we go to the test here inside the test in this test right now the null hypothesis states that the variance or the standard deviation for both groups are same whereas alternate hypothesis states that the standard deviation or variances in both groups are not same since the p-value 0.01 is less than 0.05 the alpha therefore we're going to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the results are significant and the variance for both groups are not same so therefore in this case we will definitely go and apply the two sample t test for unequal variances we will not assume equal variances here so this test will provides us these results so this is the valid result in this case since we have already tested the variances so this is the valid test since now we have tested for the quality of variances also and that test provides us the evidence that the variances in the populations are not same so here our t value is minus 2.16 and the p value is 0.04 which is less than alpha so we can conclude here that uh, the data in the sample provides us uh, evidence uh, of rejecting the null hypothesis at 5% level of significance now we will see the other two types of data entries for the same test so we can uh, even unstack our sample here let us just go to data unstack columns what you want to unstack is fat consumed variables using uh, groups uh, as sex so you want to unstack your fat consum consumption data in different columns for male and female so you just want to paste it after the last column in use so press ok here you see it is now data of both groups in different columns look the fat consumed for females since we had uh, 12 females in our data sets and the fat consumed for males and we had 16 males in our data set so unstack columns basically unstack your fat consumption data with respect to male and female categories now let us just go to stat basic stat two sample t test now we will pick here the second option each sample is in its own column what is the sample one here you can specify either male or female as sample one or sample two this is up to you now so go to the fat consumed males in the first sample then fat consumed female in the second sample options you may specify the type of hypothesis which you want to use here everything is same click ok click ok i will just maximize the window to show you the results are the same look again 2.16 the value the slight difference is that in the previous uh, test you found that minus 2.16 because it has taken the first group as female here in this test the t value is plus 2.16 because you have specified the first group as male now in two tail test it will not make any difference the results are the same because the p-values are the same 0.04 and 0.04 which is less than 0.05 and the results are significant let us just go and see the third and the last option for applying the t-test for that purpose you need to memorize this descriptive statistic let us just go to the third option here stat basic stat okay two sample t 
now we will select the third option the summarized data sample one so if you want to take mail again for sample one just put 16 here sample size for the first group sample size for the second group 12 in the first group what was your uh, mean 88.5 and uh, in the female group you had mean of 63.3 and along with the standard deviation that is 41.4 and 18.8 so this is the data which uh, we have now entered as a summarized data summary statistics options well these options are same the two tail test for unequal population variance is okay click okay here we go we will see that again the results are same as compared to the previous one look 2.16 and 0.04 again the same result so we can test uh, uh, the quality of two population means by using three type of data entries okay now we will move to the second example where the samples are dependent the amount of lactic acid in the blood was examined for 10 men 10 men before and after a strenuous exercise so these are the pair of observation for example this 15 and 33 is a pair representing the first male similarly 16 and 20 is the second pair representing second male so pair of observations means that the reading have been taken on the same individual so samples are dependent we have to test if the exercise changes the level of lactic acid so we are just concerned to see whether the average before minus average after is equal to zero or we can also write it mu of difference is equal to zero we will denote mu1 minus mu2 as mu of d here so this is our null hypothesis null hypothesis state that there is no difference in the average lactic acid before and after the exercise whereas mu of d if i write mu of d is not equal to zero it means there is significant difference in the average lactic acid in the blood before and after the exercise so this is the hypothesis which we are going to test using minitab right now so let us just go to the minitab here so here you can see the data in minitab the before and the after values let's go to stat basic stat and then pair t inside the pair t there are two options that whether you have summarized data or each sample is in a column so we have the first option since we have uh, both sample in different columns sample one before and sample two after since it is a two tail test so we will go to option and specify the two tail test with the sign not equal to hypothesis difference is zero as i have already explained uh, in the slide that we want to test whether the mu of difference is equal to zero since I, I have taken alpha as 5% so therefore confidence level is 95% click OK and here you will see the results this is the hypothesis which we are looking to test mu of difference is equal to 0 or mu of difference is not equal to 0 the t value is minus 4.93 and the p value is 0.001 so p value is less than 0 0.05 the alpha so it is even less than 0 0.01 so we may conclude here that our results are significant that means we will reject the null hypothesis well thanks a lot for watching